G'day, it's Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here to show you how you can install new fonts on your Windows PC. If you love creating scrapbook pages, writing documents or doing anything creative on your computer, you'll probably want to go further than the basic fonts that are installed by default. You can find fonts in a lot of places on the internet and I love to download and install them on my computer. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in Windows 10 but the steps are pretty easy and are very similar in other versions of Windows. So let's get to it. Here I've downloaded a font from Creative Market. It's called Oh Wonder and the font comes inside a zip file. So I'm going to double click on this file, open it up and I'm going to open up the fonts folder. Now there's a selection of fonts. If you have an older computer you might want to use the TrueType font but if you've got a computer that's pretty modern you'll probably want to install the OpenType font face which is this .otf file. So all you need to do is double click on the file and it'll bring up this font preview. So you can have a quick look at it. Yes, that's the one I want to install and then click install and it'll install it. Beautiful, pretty easy and now your font is ready to use. Now if you want to, you could install multiple fonts at a time and I'll show you how to do that as well. So if you'd like to install more than one font at a time, you can just go to the folder where you've got your fonts, perhaps your downloads folder, and then in the little search box, type in .otf or .ttf if you want to install the true type font. And then all of your font files will appear. You can scroll through and see which ones you'd like to install. I've got a bit of a thing for um, script fonts at the moment, so you'll notice I'm uh, selecting a lot of script fonts. All right, so I've selected the fonts I want to install and then I'm just going to right click and click install. Now, if you've already installed a font, not to worry, you can just click no, you don't want to replace it. Now it's just going ahead and installing all 13 fonts, just like that. It was pretty easy and now when we head to our fonts folder on our all of the fonts that we've installed are here. Now any program we load up after we've installed the fonts will also load those fonts. So now in Photoshop Elements when we create some new text we can go ahead and choose any of the new fonts. Don't you just love fonts? I do. And I hope this video has helped you see how simple it is to install fonts on your PC. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking or even how to install fonts on your Mac, head to the links below and I'll show you how to do that too. Head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com to learn more about Photoshop Elements and digital scrapbooking.